Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel! If you're new here, my name is Medita and today I'm going to the bookstore and I'm taking you all with me because why not? I love the bookstore, we all love the bookstore, that's why we're here, we love buying books, we have an addiction, we love spending money. So why not show you how I spend money on books? I'm going really early in the morning so the bookstore can be pretty empty because I get scared of people. And I have my bag here with me. I wanted to wear the tote bag that Michaela got me but it doesn't really look good with the color so we just have a basic black one. And in here we have gloves because I'm gonna be cold because guess who bikes? Me. Because guess who's an independent city girl? Me. So we have to bike. I'm obviously bringing a book that I'm reading because I might want to sit down at a cafe and like, I don't know, drink a coffee and be quirky and different and not like other girls. And I can only be quirky and different and not like other girls if I have a book with me. And that is A Magic Steep in Poison. That's all I have to say and the rest is going to be at the bookstore. So let's go make coffee really quickly. I'm on FaceTime currently with Clara and her brother. It's like French press coffee. Hazelnut milk. Uh, okay. Eric, what do you want? Oh, you're a little too close to comfort. Mmm, so good. How's your coffee? Oh, so good. I'm so in love. Can't relate when it comes to boys. <laughs> he calls you a gremlin. She doesn't write. You're my friend at Gremlin. You are too. That's why we're friends. Yeah, don't you gremlins gather around? Isn't that how you guys find challenge each other? Gremlins for life. We're gor gorgiles. How do you say that? You mean goblins? No! Oh. Gargoyles. I birthed her. <laughs> With who? The love of God. <laughs> yeah. Jane the Virgin 2.0? Hi, Clara. Hello, camera. Have you heard of Mistborn? Is that by Brandon Sanderson? Yeah. Do you have it? No, but it's supposed to be really good. I have another series by Brandon Sanderson. My brother is reading it right now because my brother is trying to be quirky. He's just stealing my personality. So I, I don't like it, you know? Get back to being a musician. I'm the reader. Oh, now I'm actually being a smarty. No, literally like, what the heck, Casper? Let me be the main character. Like, there's no way. Dude, why do I look like an adult? I'm so confused. I look so grown up right now. Yeah. Fit check. Okay, this is my outfit to go to the bookstore. We're gonna button the jacket and let's tie it like this. Cool. We're gonna go now to the bookstore. Where's my bag? Eh. You look like an adult. Ah! Bike time. I'm obviously listening to Taylor Swift. Let's go. City girl all the way. Let's don't fall. Uh oh. Oh, I'm biking. I arrived in the city with cold ears, even though I was wearing earmuffs, but I was still looking like a main character. Was I still feeling a bit awkward because people saw me filming? Yes, but I did not care because where was I going to go? Hundube, aka Paradise, my favorite bookstore. And they actually had a really good variety of books today, which I didn't expect. Usually they don't have the best American books, but look at this. I mean, are you seeing this? Oh! Angel Sounds, they literally had the entire Shadow Me series. My husband was there. They also had a good girl's guide to murder, so read that if you haven't. And then they just had some random books and I was just, you know, looking through them. I was just being a main character and then I saw Koho and I got kind of mad. But then I was daydreaming about being a main character and what if I found my true love at a bookstore and I was looking around for some hot guy in my age group to show up and be like, oh my god, I love that book too. So we could start talking about the books and maybe get a coffee afterwards. Have that amazing How I Met Your Father romance story with books. Like how could you want something even better? And then we would have an amazing big library in our house? Yes. Then I got yet again a bit disturbed because they had Coho and the Twisted series in the children's book section. Are you kidding me? Whom do will do better? I don't know why they do this every single time. Then I decided to go to a different bookstore. This is the really aesthetic bookstore I often go to and it's just so cute there. I mean, look at this. As much as I think that this bookstore is really aesthetic, they do not have a good variety of books, okay? I did not find anything except for these poems and I was actually disturbed. It was this poem collection and for some reason they were like smutty poems and I was like, what is this? But because I am that curious, I decided to open it and look inside and I decided to read some of the poems. Let me just tell you that was the worst decision of my life. I was absolutely disturbed. I don't know why I decided to do this. You know, I don't know why I read this, but I just kept going and then there was artwork inside there and I was just absolutely disgusted. I was screaming, I was crying, I was throwing up on the inside. I wanted to put the book away, but then again, I wanted to look aesthetic too with a book in my hand in a bookstore and I just kept reading the poems. Was I dumb for that? Yes. 
was I still entertained a little bit? Yes. Was I disturbed at the same time? Yes. I was also just confused about why an author would write this and I was looking around to make sure no one saw me. You know, because this is the stuff I don't want to read in public. This is the stuff that gets me terrified. Like Smut and me are not public friends. I read them in my room because I have very expressive facial expressions. So everybody knows what I'm reading. I, I don't, I can't have people know what I'm reading in public. Do I want people to know that I read Smut in public? No. So I try to limit my facial expressions and I was not able to limit my facial expressions with this book. So I had to put it back on the shelf and pretend that I never read this and I I want to forget that I read this. Let me please erase my memory. Thank you. I don't want to remember this book. Then I went to the third bookstore and that is Hoogdubel yet again. I know there's two Hoogdubels in the city and this one had a bit of a better variety actually with different books. But then I just started daydreaming and I was dreaming about meeting my love at the cash register at a bookstore. So basically you're going to a bookstore and you only have your card with you and you forget that this is a cash only bookstore. This is an old bookstore. So you find this book and you go up to the cash register and you see this really attractive guy standing up there and you're like, ooh, he's kind of cute. So you try to pay for the book and he's like, oh, do you have cash? And you're like, no, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I forgot at home. I only have a card and he for some reason is like oh it's okay i'll pay for you just come back in the next hour and you know pick up the book i'll keep it here until you come back with the cash and you're like yes of course so you rush out to the bank to pick up some money get some cash but when you come back to the bookstore it's already closing hour right it's like 8 p.m the bookstore is about to close so you just get him because he's about to close the bookstore and you're like hi so sorry i only came now the bank was so far away he's like oh it's fine here's the book thank you for like paying you're like yeah oh my god oh, i was just so excited to read this book and he's like oh my god really because it's my favorite book and you're like oh true love love at first sight is this destiny because how is this his favorite book and the one book you were excited to read yeah i know true love then you both decide to walk home together because you apparently take the same bus home which is just such a coincidence and while driving home you both think about the best books you exchange thoughts about your favorite authors and you're both listening to the other person you're having deep 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 talks and you realize you have a connection with this man you're like mm, i kind of love him so you both decide to go to dinner and then you're like why did you actually pay for me and he's just like i just kind of know that you were like a good person you connect right away and you know what that happens true love happily ever after yes then I went to the secondhand bookstore called Tex. And honestly, this one is my favorite bookstore ever in my city. The only issue is though, they did not accept my card. Don't ask me why. I don't know if they accept other cards, but they usually accept a lot of cash. So if you want to get some secondhand books, definitely go here. It was amazing. There's some amazing poetry in here too. Same with like fantasy. So definitely check this out. I was in love with this book. I also took some pictures here because hashtag Pinterest, hashtag aesthetic, hashtag we are an aesthetic girly and we have to take pictures. Was I indeed panicking on the inside because somebody saw me yes and i had to take the pictures on self-timer because i was alone so it was a bit awkward but it was fine and yeah in the end i couldn't buy the book so i went to another bookstore and i was walking past the lego store and i was crying because i wanted to get a lego set so badly but then i went to the last bookstore of the day which was another hugendube i know i went to a lot of bookstores today and there i found killjoy but then i also found this disturbing book so i had to turn it over so nobody would buy it like no one can buy a million kiss in your lifetime that book is awful i did however find the stolen air which mm, that was kind of cool and they yet again had shatter me which is always a really good plus for me i love when bookstores have my favorite books and for some reason then i also rearranged the bookstores but we're gonna not talk about this because we're going to starbucks and i had a vanilla latte with soy milk and mm, let me just tell you that was delicious but then i was already biking back home because i had to go pick up a package and also last but not least i just want to say do you see how beautiful the sky is it's so blue it looks like oh my god i'm in a music video or something i was listening to folklore by taylor swift while doing this and yes i was indeed fantasizing about my life and romanticizing everything i do because when am i not let's go inside so i can give you all a book haul i'm so out of breath that is not fun honestly did i expect to sweat this much no i was also struggling to film myself yet again at the bookstore because how the heck do people do this there's people walking by constantly but it's okay i think i've got rid of something Here's my book haul from the bookstores. I went to, let me think, one, two, three. I went to five different bookstores. Ah, anyways, we did pretty well, honestly. I found some really good books that I've been looking for, so that makes me really happy. Here they are. I got some from Hugendubin. Then I wanted to get a book from the secondhand bookstore I was in for such a long time. It was such a good store in there. I found this really nice German thriller and they didn't accept my card. 
I was so embarrassed at the cash register. And then I also went to this other bookstore that's like an independent bookstore and I bought one book there, so. And yeah, let me just show you what I got, I guess. First is The Stolen Air by Holly Black. I did not expect to see this at the bookstore, honestly. And when I saw it, as well as in the same size as my other books, I was like, I have to get this right now because it fits perfectly with my cruel prints. It's gonna look amazing on my shelf. I'm so excited to read this. I did, however, hear that he has like goat feet. <laughs> I don't really know how I feel about that. I really don't know how I feel about him having good feet. What do you mean? Does he have to clean his hooves every single time he goes into bed? Like, I don't really know what he does. But I was a bit disgusted, but I'm still gonna read it because Cardin has a tail too. We're just gonna ignore it. I mean, it's in the universe of the Quill Prince, so I hope I really like it. I'm honestly not sure if this is a standalone or not, but I don't care. It looks really nice. Then I got another book that I have been waiting to read. And when I saw this at the bookstore, I was like, wait a second, this is my sign to get this. And that is Killjoy, the prequel to A Girl's Guide to Murder. And it's also in the correct size as the other books I have. And yeah, this is about, I'm actually not sure what the prequel is about. Like, I really don't, but it says here, Pippa is not looking forward to her friend's 1920s themed murder mystery party. Ooh, that sounds kind of fun. But when the game begins, Pip finds herself drawn into the make-believe world of the intrigue, deception, and murder. Oh my god, Pippa plays detective? <gasps> that sounds so good. I'm so excited to read this. And since I bought this book by Holly Jackson, guess what other book I bought by Holly Jackson? Yeah, yeah, five survive. When I saw this, I yet again thought this is a sign. Um, this is the world of books telling me to get this book and to read it as soon as possible. So five survive, as far as I'm aware, is about six friends and they're somewhere and there's a sniper and like pow pow pow, someone gets killed. That's all I know so far, but like, oh, it's a hardback and it looks so nice. Red Kenny's on a road trip for spring break with five friends. So their car breaks out in the middle of nowhere and they're trapped in, in the dark and something is like shooting at them and one will die. Excuse me. I don't know if I'm okay. I will be shocked while reading this. I already know, but I'm just so super excited. I loved Good Girl's Guide to Murder. So this is definitely gonna be a book that I will probably love. Like I'm so excited for this. Mm -mm -mm. No one understands and the cover is kind of cool. Then I got The Ballad of Never After, which is a sequel to Once Upon a Broken Heart. I found it the correct size, which is the reason I got it because I'm never able to find books in the same size. So since this is the same size as my copy of Once Upon a Broken Heart, I have to get it. I'm kind of excited to read this. And like the map is so cute. Have you seen this? Whoever does Stephanie Garber's maps, call me up. I want my own personalized maps. They're gorgeous. I want to live there. Very nice. And then I got two books. They're just books I haven't seen in a while. And that is House of Hollow. This is yet again a horror gothic book. And since I loved horror that much, I thought I would love House of Hollow too. And I read the first like two pages at the bookstore. Um, I don't think I'm okay because what do you mean? This like woman breaks into her house and cuts a piece of her hair off and like eats it. Ah! Like what, what are you talking about? That's so scary. The woman that breaks in like kisses her mom and like draws blood from the lips. Don't know, don't know what you're talking about, but um, that sounds exciting and scary and dark. This haunting modern fairy tale will wrap you up like a glittering fog before going for your throat. I mean, sounds really good. It's about Iris Hollow and her two older sisters. So I'm very excited for this. And also the cover is just amazing in my opinion. And then last but not least, I got Earthlings by Sayaka Murata. I have Convenience Store Woman by her as well as The Ceremony. And this is a story about a child that thinks he's not from this earth and she hopes that a spaceship comes to save her. And now she lives in an asexual marriage pretending to be normal. That sounds kind of interesting, honestly. And the cover is really cute. I love the stuffed, I don't even know what animal that is down there, but it looks pretty cool. I'm very excited about this. And then all her writing is supposed to be very magical. And this book is like 200. <gasps> I didn't realize it was damaged. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like slightly wavy here. Nah, I think it's fine. I don't really, that's okay. Those are all the books I got. I'm so excited to read all of them. Now I'm actually contemplating reading Killjoy right now because I just found it and I'm like, well, why not? I don't really have anything else to say. I'm also gonna leave soon because I'm going out with my parents tonight because I'm social right now. I hope you enjoyed this little short vlog of me going to the bookstore. And if you did, you can give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more of my content, you can subscribe. I hope you all have a great day, evening, time, morning, whatever time zone you're in. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Go read a book. Mm, read Killjoy or read The Stolen Air or read Five Survive or read Once Upon a Broken Heart or read House of Hollows or read Earthlings. Again, have a great day, happy reading, and see you next time. Bye!